In this section of the module, we'll be hearing again from Professor Gabriella Coleman from McGill University. Professor Coleman is a cultural anthropologist with particular expertise in the cultures of hacking and digital activism, who has spent many years researching the online entity known as Anonymous. She has published a fascinating and highly readable account of her years researching Anonymous in a book titled Hacker, Hoaxer, Whistleblower, Spy, The Many Faces of Anonymous. In conducting research for that book, she not only interviewed many of the people involved in organising and executing anonymous activities, but was herself embedded within the various image boards and online forums where those activities were discussed, planned and executed. As she will explain in the following videos, Anonymous is a collective entity, a unique manifestation of the creativity and collaboration that the internet makes possible. It has grown from a group of trolls and pranksters who did things just for the lulls, the laughs, to a movement which has had significant influence on the way the mainstream media has responded to and reported on events. One of the things that makes Anonymous a fascinating movement is its apparent lack of a leader or clear governance structure. Activities are planned by various groups and put forward as a group project, voted on, argued against and ultimately adopted or not by a critical mass of participants. Inevitably, individuals take the lead in organising various aspects of these campaigns. However, the culture of Anonymous is explicitly against those individuals assuming more formalised control beyond one project to the next, hence the very literal use of the term Anonymous. That is not to suggest that Anonymous' activities are without controversy. The very existence of a network of hackers with the capacity to mobilise a global project, such as the campaign against the Church of Scientology, to execute denial of service attacks on large corporations such as Operation Avenge Assange, and rally, sustain and motivate a global protest like the Occupy movement, represents a risk to governments and corporations alike. Professor Coleman will explain to us how Anonymous has evolved from trolling for laughs to a greater political awareness, noting that this is remarkable for a group of individuals who have no consistent philosophy beyond what Professor Coleman describes as a foundational commitment to the maintenance of anonymity and a broad dedication to the free flow of information. For some of those people, however, the consequences have been serious. Several individuals associated with Anonymous have been sentenced to jail terms for hacking and related offences. Anonymous provides us with a remarkable example of the capacity of the open internet to literally bring together a global network of individuals who can work together on an ad hoc project regardless of physical location, age or status. Anonymous also exemplifies the strange phenomenon of the internet itself encompassing elements of anonymity, openness and a resistance to censorship. Notably, it evolved from the 4chan image board, a place which encouraged deliberately provocative and confronting content, the more confronting the better, as well as being the birthplace of the now ubiquitous lolcats meme. <laughs> 